Is that good? All right, go ahead and hit play on your playlist. I put it in the description of this video. We are live on YouTube, on my channel, and on Black Swan's Facebook. Uh, so let's get warmed up and we will get started. So let's start standing today. I love it when my head is cut off. <laughs> Ground through your feet, take a soft bend into your knees. Inhale, reach those arms up and overhead. And then exhale, just pull your hands through heart center. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, reach the arms up. Really stretch and then exhale, soften the shoulders as you draw them down. One more big breath in, reach it up high. And then exhale, hands to heart. Good. Now bring the hands to your hips, soft bend into the knees. Let's scoop the pelvis forward and then scoop the pelvis back. So you're drawing the pelvis forward and then drawing it back. Take that a couple more times. Forward and back. Good. Now we'll move from side to side. Take those hips over to the right and then over to the left. Good. Just feeling the edges of those hips side to side. And then we'll take that into a big circle, hinging at your waist, pressing the hips forward, pressing the hips back, really getting that full range of motion here. One more time and switch directions. Take the hips forward, getting that forward extension and that lengthening of the hamstrings as your butt presses back, pressing forward and then pressing back. Good. and release. Let's take our legs out wide into a wide-legged stance, bending into the right knee and then into the left, coming into a lateral lunge, pressing your feet down, lifting your heart up. As it. Keep going here from side to side, tractioning your knee over your toes. Let's take it one more time to each side. And then we'll pause that right knee bent and come into a low lunge. Drop your left hand down, open your right arm up and take a twist. Deep inhale. And then exhale, lower the right hand down, left heel to the mat, open your left arm up towards the sky. Full breath in. And a big breath out. Your left hand down. Walk your hands through a wide-legged forward fold, dropping the head, clasping your hands, and pressing your knuckles up towards the sky. Let the head hang heavy. Full breath in. Big breath out. Release the hands down. Walk your hands now over to the left into your low lunge. Left knee is bent. Plant the right hand. Open your left arm up towards the sky. Inhale. And exhale, lower the left hand down, right heel to the mat, side angle, reach your right arm up. Look up towards your right fingertips, press into that back foot. Feel the right hip open as you inhale. And then exhale, lower the hands down, walk back through that wide-legged forward fold. This time crawling the hands back on your mat, closer towards your feet. Letting the head hang heavy here. Taking a deep inhale. And an exhale, bend your knees, drop your hips, come into a squat. Bring your hands to your thighs and drop your right shoulder down. Look to your left. Press your right knee open and as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, come back to center and switch sides. Press that left knee open, twist to your right. Big breath in. And release it, breath out. Top of the mat, let's come into a plank pose. Step your feet back, top of your push-up as you inhale. And as you exhale, lower it all the way down to the mat. We'll take one floor scorpion to each side. Bend your right knee, step behind you. Look over your right shoulder. Inhale. And exhale, roll it back to center, switch sides. Bend your left knee. Step your left foot behind you, rolling back towards your right shoulder. 
and roll back to center, press back to child's pose, hips back towards your heels. Then we'll take a couple spinal waves here, knees stay on the mat to wave your spine forward, drop your hips, inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, wave up and back to child's pose. A couple more times like that. Dropping your hips, inhale, lift your chest, press your ears away from your shoulders. Exhale, wave back to child's pose. One more time, bring it forward. Drop the hips, lift your heart, inhale. And exhale, draw it back. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. Pedal out the legs, melting your heels heavy towards the ground. Hug your navel into your spine as you look back in between your heels. Another full breath in. And a big breath out. Find stillness here now, taking your feet a little bit wider than your hips out to the edges of your mat. Pressing the ground away, take a full breath in. And a big breath out. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Bring the feet back together, hips with distance. Chin tucks into your chest. Roll slowly up to stand. Circling your shoulders back and down. We'll take a couple standing cat cows. Clasp your hands and press your hands forward. Dome through your upper back like a cat pose. Then inhale, open your chest, pinch your shoulder blades together for a variation of cow. And then inhale, forward. Um, inhale, open it up. And then exhale, draw it forward. And inhale, open the chest. Exhale, press forward. This time let's add a rotation over to your right. Bring it back to center and rotate over to your left. Inhale, open up your heart. And release the arms down, dropping your left ear over to your left shoulder. Pull your fingertips down towards the ground, stretching into the side of your neck. Maybe rocking the head in a crescent moon shape forward and back. Then take the chin to the chest and switch sides. Dropping your ear heavy towards your shoulder. Keep reaching your fingertips down. And finding that rock forward and back. And then we'll take one big slow circle with the head in one direction. And then switch directions. Head all the way around. And release. Reach your right arm up, your left arm down. Big wind circles back. Circling those arms back. Keep a soft bend to the knees, grounded through your feet for three, two, one, switch directions, swim forward for three, for two, for one, and release. Shake it out. Let's clasp the hands and just roll out the wrists for a moment. Slow circles, press your wrists together, and then switch directions. and let it go. All right, I'm gonna show you what we're going to be doing today. We're taking it through six exercises, hit style, 45 seconds with one minute off. Um, sh shout out to Francesca Fitz for her um, inspiration for a lot of these uh, movements today. Um, she is an awesome body weight animal flow artiste if you wanna check her out on Instagram. Um, okay, so our first move, we're going to be doing high knees, and then we're going to be dropping down into mountain climbers. So we're going to do one, two, three, four high knees, drop down into your plank pose, and do one, two, three, four mountain climber. Jump back up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, pretty fast. You want to do it, um, to really build, pick up some, some speed there. And then we're going to take a side plank push up. All right, so you're gonna drop back down into that plank pose. This is our second exercise. You'll roll onto one side, doing your side plank. Come back to the center, give me a push up. 
roll over to the other side, side plank. Push up and switch, lifting the hips up. I like to circle that top arm, reaching it up and over and lowering into your push up. Now you can always do that with your knee down. So if you want to keep that bottom knee down and then take a knees down push up, you can always do it like that for your modification. All right. And then we're going to stand back up on our feet. We're going to take the right leg back. You're going to tap the ground and then drive that right knee up. Tap the ground, drive that right knee up. Okay? Driving it up, tap the ground, and stepping it back. Now, if you really want to amp it up today, you can always make that a hop and a tap. But I want you to tap the ground every time. All right? We'll keep it on the right side, and we'll switch in the second round. All right, we're gonna take it into a reverse lunge back on our feet. We're gonna take a reverse lunge, dropping the knee below the hip, hands behind the head for a twist. Stand tall, step it back, twist, stand tall, and twist. Using your core, your obliques, to add that twist. Okay? so. That was exercise four, exercise five. We're going to rock back and then step back into a lateral lunge. Okay, so it's like a deck squat with a lateral lunge. So you're gonna rock, press your knees up, rock forward and step back into lateral lunge. Stand back at the top, lower, rock up, press your knees up, stand, switch sides, lateral lunging. Standing at the top. Okay, so deck squat to lateral lunge. And then our final thing is going to be a beast reach. So you've probably done beast pose before. Knees underneath the belly button, toes tuck, lift the knees off of the mat. And then we're going to reach opposite leg and opposite arm. Working that core working your stabilizer muscles. Okay, moving slow. All right, so we're really mixing it up today. No kick throughs, <laughs> um, lots of new exercises. So those are our six moves. Um, again, we'll do four rounds, 45 seconds each. Okay, all right, you guys, I'm gonna start the timer. We'll start at the top of the mat for 45 Going in three, two, one. You've got high knees down to mountain climbers. Give me four. One, two, three, four. Down, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Go, one, two, three, four. Keep it up. Up and down for 45 seconds all the way through. That's it. You've got 15 seconds left. Keep going, you guys, for 10, 9. Keep moving. Four high knees, four mountain climbers. Then you've got some push ups going in three, two, one. Come to your plank pose. Take your side plank. Sweep the arm forward. Push up. Side plank, lift up, push up. You can always lower the knees down and push up. Side plank, you always have the option to lift that top leg. Keep moving. The objective isn't speed. Keep moving, you guys. You're almost there. Go for two, one. Back up on your feet. You've got that knee drive with the right leg. Drive it up, top the ground. If you want to add a hop, hop it up. 
Step back. Hop. And drive. Okay. Try to tap the ground. Light with right fingertips. Driving that right leg. Straight back. We're really loading up the left leg on this round. That's it. Keep going. You got three, two, one on your feet, hands behind your head, reverse lunge with a twist. Step back and twist. Step it back and twist. That back leg doesn't have to step back real far. Just drop the knee below the hip. Keep going. That's it, you guys. You're almost there. You got 10 seconds left. Stepping back and twisting. To go for three, two, one. Stand at the top of your mat. You're going to take it into a deck squat. Rock back, knees up. Step back, lateral lunge. Stand at the top and switch. Knees up, lateral lunge, left leg. Stand tall. Knees up, keep going. Right leg back. Stand tall at the top after the lateral lunge. Press those knees up using your core. Drive them up. Stay low as you step back into lateral. Keep going, you guys. Three seconds left. Two, one, and break. Come down into that beast pose. Knees forward under your belly button. Lift them off the mat. Reach opposite hand, opposite leg, extend it out, and switch. Keep your spine parallel to the ground. This should not look like down dog. All right, keep going, 10 more seconds. Two, one, and break. Awesome work, you guys, that was round one. Let's get on our feet, do a tiny sip of water, maybe towel off. All right, we'll be moving into round two. In 30 seconds, how you doing? <laughs> Catch your breath, take a couple deep slow inhales and exhales. All right, woo. <laughs> All right, you guys, starting in again at the top in three, two, one, let's go. High knees, mountain climbers. Make them quick. This is the primary one that I want you to go as fast as you can. Keep going, just like that. 10 more seconds. Fast, fast, fast. Three, two, one. Come down, side plank. Lift up, maybe lift the top leg and push up. Side plank and push up. Maybe you hold that side plank for a second. There is no speed on this one. Control your movement. Remember you always have that version of taking the knees down. Three, 
That's it for two. One on your feet. Knee drive with the left leg. Take that left leg back. Tap the ground. Drive the left knee up. Make it strong. Drive the knee up and step it back. Maybe you add that hop. Tap the ground every time. Keep moving. That's it, five more seconds. Two, one, hands behind your head. Reverse lunge with a twist. Step back and twist. We're involving the core in all of these exercises today. In a little bit different way making it an integral part of our movement. You got 10 more seconds. Keep moving. Keep those elbows wide, chest lifted. Two, one, that's it. All right, let's take that rock to lateral lunge. Knees up, step. Back of lateral, rock, knees up, lateral, switch sides every time. Stand after you lunge, stay low into your lateral. Keep going. Go for three, for two, for one, down into your beast. Knees are under your belly button, lift the knees off the ground. Reach out, draw them in, reach, and lower. That's it. Don't let your butt lift up in the air and don't let your knees walk back. Keep going for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Rest. Woo, I'm getting sweaty. We're halfway done, you guys. We got two more rounds. Your body knows woo, the movements this time. Get on your feet, walk around, get some active recovery, some slow deep breaths. Good job. 30 more seconds and we'll start round three. How y'all feeling? All right, you guys. Coming into those high knees and mountain climbers in five, four, three, two, at the top of your mat, go, go. High knees, mountain climbers, fast, fast, fast. Keep up the pace. This is the only one I want you to go as fast as you can. Fifteen more seconds. Keep going. Three, two, one. Take it down. Side plank. Lift up, push up, side plank, push up. 
keep it up. Make sure you're breathing. Almost there, 10 more seconds. And release on your feet. Right leg, knee drive. Take that right leg back, touch the ground. Drive it up. And drive. And drive. Maybe add in that hop this time. Really loading that left leg. Stepping your right leg. Long back behind you. That's it. Keep going for five more seconds. Two, one. Reverse lunge, hands behind your head. Step back and twist. Step back, twist. Don't step too far back. Keep your knee under your hips. Exhale as you twist. That's it. Good job, you guys. You got five seconds left. Three, two, one. Stand tall at the top. Deck squat to lateral lunge. Make it smooth. Drive the knees up and lateral lunge to the back. Can you get those knees to stack? Over your hips, as you press them up, that's your core. Good, two, one, come down into beast. Plant your hands, lift your knees, reach. Find extension, maybe a little hold. The stabilizers, so strong. That's it, keep going. You got it for five more seconds. Two, one, and rest. Let's get on our feet. You got one round left, you guys. One round, and then we will call it a day. Actually, no, that's a lie. We'll do some core work, <laughs> and then we'll stretch, and then we'll be done. All right, 30 more seconds of recovery here. Really important to get back up on your feet. Find some movement, some deep inhales through the nose, exhale out through the mouth. We'll start again at the top in 10 seconds. Knee drive to mountain climbers. Remember, really go all out in that first 45 seconds. All right, start at the top. Two, one, go, go. This is it. Final round. Don't leave here today wishing you'd done more. Keep 
keep going. That's it. You've got 10 seconds left. Two, one, side plank. Lift up and push up. Lift it up and push up. You can take it slow, but keep moving, don't stop. That's it, 10 more seconds. Give me one more rep. On your feet, left leg back for that knee drive. Go, go. Touch the ground, drive the left knee up. You're pressing that right foot down into the ground. Maybe adding a hop. You're almost there. Keep going, use your breath. Five seconds. Two, one, release. Reverse lunge with a twist. Step back, twist. Good. You got it, you're gonna feel awesome after this. No matter what else happens the rest of your day, carry with you a sense of accomplishment. Five more seconds. Two, one. Stand at the top, deck squat to lateral lunge. Step back. Stand tall. Press those knees straight up. Drive them up. Step back. You got it. 10 more seconds. Two, one, lower it down. Beast reach, lift the knees, reach out. Press out through your heel. Reach forward like you're trying to touch the wall in front of you. That's it. Keep going. 10 more seconds. Two, one, and rest. Awesome work, you guys. That was it for that little circuit. Let's get on our feet. Walk around. We'll take about a minute and a half here to recover. Good job, you guys. Woo. Get a sip of water, but not too much. We're still gonna do a little bit of core work. All right. Summer, although not officially here, has arrived in Texas. <laughs> it's gonna be 100 degrees today can feel the humidity. Oh yeah. All right, let's take about 30 more seconds. Big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. 
Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through pierced lips. All right. Good job, you guys. Okay. We're going to take it down onto our backs for some core work. Lying on our backs. Whew. Let's see here. We are going to do. We're going to do Spartan arms. Let's do this guy. There he is. There it is. Okay. Legs up at a 90 degree angle. You can sit on your hands, placing palms down, flex your toes back towards your face. And we're going to pulse the hips and the heels straight up and then lower the legs slowly down. Lift the legs back up, pulse the hips up and lower the legs down. Lift legs, pulse hips. All right, keep going just like that, 30 seconds. Try to drive the heels straight up, even if you only lift like half an inch. It's a subtle lift of the hips off the ground, really targeting those lower abdominals. Five, four, three, two, one. Give it one more pulse, bend the knees. Bring your hands back behind your head. Lift your shoulder blades off of the mat. And we're going to twist into our bicycle. Extend the leg. Take it slow. Lifting and twisting. Extending out through that opposing leg. Really press out through the legs. Instead of bringing the knees into you, can you lift up and twist your shoulder blade towards the knee? That's it. Keep going. Ten more seconds. Slow, controlled bicycles. Two, one. Rock forward to a plank pose. Plant your hands, step your feet back, let's hold at the top. Press the ground away and then lower down to your forearms. Inhale, exhale, dip your hips over to the right. Come back to center and dip your hips over to the left. 30 seconds here, making a rainbow shape with your hips from side to side. Keep driving your hands down and your shoulders away from your elbows. Oh yeah, feeling that one. You got five, four, three, two, one. Lower all the way down to your belly. Sphinx pose, give your heart a lift. Hands stay just where they were in a number 11 shape. Shoulders stacked over your elbows. Full breath in, breath out, drive your forearms down. One more inhale, pelvis is heavy. Exhale, release, lower all the way down. Good, all right. Now make a cactus shape with your arms, like straight back behind you. On your inhale, you're gonna reach your arms forward and lift your whole body off the mat into a superman. Exhale, bend the elbows and lower down. Inhale, lift up, and exhale to lower. Inhale, lift up, and exhale to lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, and exhale, five more. Five, four, three, two, 
one. Lift up and hold. Lift, lift, lift for five, four, three, two, one. And release, press back. Child's pose, hips back towards your heels, forehead to the mat. Deep breath in. And a big breath out. All right, downward facing dog, tuck your toes. Lift your hips, pedal out your legs. All right, final round here, way forward to our plank pose, top of your push up. We've got 30 seconds of mountain climbers. Go, go, drive those knees forward. Run it out for your final 30 seconds. Press the ground away. Keep going. Fast as you can. This is it. Keep it up. You got it. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Lower your knees. Sit your hips back to your heels. Toss your hands behind you. Open your chest. Lift your chin. Woo-wee. Oh, God. Downward facing dog, tuck your toes, lift your hips. Lift your right leg, bend your knees, stack your hip open. Take a full breath in. Big breath out, pigeon pose. Inhale, drop your hips, lift your heart. Look back and point your left toes straight back behind you. Hold forward. Five slow breaths here. Two more. Inhale, lift back up. Come back to downward facing dog. We'll switch sides. Left leg lifts, bend the knee, open your left hip. Press down into your left hand. Exhale, pigeon. Point your right toes straight back behind you. Drop your hips, lift your heart. And pull forward. Five slow breaths here. Inhaling for four. Exhaling for six. When you're ready, slowly lift back up. We'll just sweep the right leg forward. Coming into a butterfly shake. Soles the feet together. Grab your ankles. Sit tall. Breathe in. Exhale, fold forward. Nose towards your toes. Send your breath into your back, in between your shoulder blades, and down towards your kidneys. Inhale, rise up. Cross your ankles and just come to standing, sweeping your arms up and overhead. Exhale, pull your hands in the heart center, close your eyes. Just notice how you feel right here and right now and perhaps set an intention for the rest of your day. Thank yourself for showing up, for doing the work, remembering that no matter what happens today, you can carry with you this sense, sense of accomplishment, of the fact that you showed up and did your very best whenever it looked like today. Full breath in. 
open mouth exhale. <sighs> Thank you all so much for showing up today. My name is Jed. This is an on it class. Um, yeah, schedules staying the same. If you haven't followed me yet on Instagram, I post schedules and workshops. Send me your requests. Um, follow me on YouTube if you haven't already. Jennifer Turner. Um, I post all of these live classes available forever, donation-based on my YouTube channel.